Let me tell you a little bit about the building and how it sits in the site and actually how we design the entire project. It will have a very strong presence in the community. It will be visible from the hills up above, from Highway 1, and from the beaches. Hi, I'm Paul Jampgard, project designer here at Group 4 Architecture Research and Planning. The new library will become the heart of Pacifica, turning an underutilized resource, the wastewater treatment plant, into a thriving connection between the ocean and the pier and the Palmetto Retail Corridor. It will have multiple transit options and parking to support them all. The entry plaza will act as a anchor for the southern end of the entire Palmetto Retail Corridor and provide a terrific transition into the library. In this entry plaza you see at the corner of Montecito and Palmetto there'll be areas for cafe seating outside, there'll be pickup and drop off areas, and special short-term parking for people who want to just drop off some books into the book drop. One of the first questions the design team had to confront was how do we capture Pacifica's unique location sandwiched between the dramatic mountains up above and the coastline and also reflect the unique offerings inside the library itself all to express a civic landmark that will last over time. At the same time, we also had to balance the consideration of how to deliver on Pacifica's new green building ordinance of providing a LEED gold rated building. These challenges drove most of the design decisions and in effect shaped the building overall. While designing for Pacifica's strong weather conditions along the seaside warranted some thoughtful responses. For instance, the strong winds and the corrosive sea spray required that we come up with a cladding system that is both durable and attractive. The winds themselves, buffeting on the west side, leave the east side relatively protected. And that's where we were able to put large transparent windows to allow the people passing on Palmetto to see the things that are going on inside the building. When the sun sets across the ocean, it sets up a lot of glare. And so to manage this, we've created a system of deep overhangs and sunshades that help control the light levels inside. At the same time, we want to admit the wonderful daylight into the building, so we've added clear stories along the rooftop and high windows along the north side. The dense fog along the coastline results in some fairly low light levels during much of the daytime hours. So we wanted to create a, a glowing effect that would both be visible from the hills and from the ocean. Again, reinforcing the presence of this library as a beacon in the community.